far. This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on eight. I finally got my rifle scoped. So what I put on it is, this is the Ruger International 1022 that I bought last year because I finally broke down and bought one after 50 years of wanting one. I finally broke down and bought one. And it was in the stainless steel uh, bright alloy receiver configuration. And I've always liked the International and I finally broke down and got one. Then I decided that I'd scope it up. Okay. So I have put the Simmons 22 Magnum, which I think is the right scope to put on anything rimfire. Uh, I have yet to put one on my B mag, but I will eventually. Uh, some things I like about the Simmons. First of all, it's not terribly expensive. Uh, I paid $49.95 for this one at Knob Creek, at Knob Creek Gun Range. It is uh, three by nine. Now, I prefer a four power, but apparently they don't make the 22 Magnum in four power anymore. They just, they make it in three by nine. Uh, it's got a very pronounced and very easy to articulate uh, focus bezel back here. The adjustment is here and nice and big and well marked. I also like it that it has this style of adjustments. You can do it with your bare hands. You don't have to have a, a 50 cent piece or a quarter or a screwdriver or something. Uh, and they come with mounts. That's the thing. So I had to buy the Weaver uh, base and then the scope came with the rings. Good deal all together, you know, because if you bought the rings separately, they'd be another 20 bucks. So, you know, it's a pretty good deal. Um, I have completed my zeroing process. And then I've decided to shoot some different types of ammo to see what kind of a, a zero the different types of ammo gives me. See how my zero changes. Now I zeroed with Winchester Super X in the 100 round box, which is the good Winchester Super X. It shoots very reliably and very accurately as opposed to the Winchester Super X in the yellow box, which is everything from poo to snap to bang to big bang. Okay, it's demonstrated to be very inconsistent. If I could not shake too bad and get that cotton picking scope cap back on there and not cross thread it, And then get the other one back on there. I'm gonna shoot this rifle a little bit. So we're gonna try it with some different ammunition. Try it with some different ammo and see how it shoots. Oh, come on, unsteady Jones. Remember what it was like when I was in my 30s, I could be a brain surgeon. Now, I can thread a sewing machine and it running and probably rewind the bobbin, bobbin and install it while it's running. But I do much trouble. So we've got a Z-Road with Winchester Super X. Kind of Z-Road. We'll shoot some Precision. This is the Arms Corps Precision ammunition from the Philippines, which I think is pretty good ammo. Yeah, let's get it up here like that and shoot it a few times. Now put one in. There we go. Yeah.
it shoots pretty good. Let's try the rabbit, see if we can get him swinging. Another magazine of precision. See how much the zero changes by changing the ammunition type and brand. Almost got the swinger going. And it started raining. It has started raining. So anyway, it looks like it's gonna be a short video. It has started raining. We got one more magazine, we'll run through it. Run down there right quick and See what the difference is in the accuracy and then pack it up and go home before we get too wet. Yeah, eating the same hole out of that paint job on the target. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let's see what the marksmanship looks like now that I got our zero. I got my cardio running up and down this cotton picking range. I must log 500 miles out here last year. Keeps me young. <laughs> yeah. Keeps me young. Here's my zero plinking around with. Winchester Super X started out up here, worked her way down here, and then got down too low and then pulled these out. This is auto match out of the same gun with the same setting. And this is precision out of the same gun with the same setting. And I couldn't even hit this target at 25 yards at all. So this is my seven yard zero right there with Winchester Super X. So, not bad. We have a spring squirrel season in Kentucky, and I may take that guy. May take that guy. Won't be long until we're back to mowing. Thanks to Patreon supporters, we have a good lawnmower for over here. Well, they've been shooting the shotgun shells over here. Which is good. Good. The clay moms. This is Bergen. In Bergen, you have, you don't have soccer mom vans roaming around with uh, appliques of soccer balls in the back window. In Bergen, <laughs> you've got stickers of clay pigeons and clay pigeon brands in back windows. Well, it's starting to rain pretty good, so I'm going to pack her up and head out. Um, Y'all, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Just a little video. I was over here zeroing a rifle, and I thought, yep, yeah, might as well turn the camera on. God bless America. God bless everyone. We'll see you when we see you. Bye now.